Hi, this is the Almost Daily Devotion for April the 3rd, that's a Friday. Um, hope you're doing well today. When in the wasteland, T.S. Eliot said that April is the cruelest month, um, what he meant by that was that the, the hope that we feel uh, in the, the unfolding and the regenerative warmth of the spring uh, that hope is ultimately going to be suffocated by um, by the sort of existential despair of living. Uh, so why even have that hope anyway? Now, keep in mind that's pre-conversion to Christianity, uh, T.S. Eliot. Many people said, right, that um, they're so glad that we're going through this uh, experience in the spring, right now, like that the sunny days like today uh, make so much of a difference. And so as believers in God, um, we can have every confidence, every confidence that the hope we feel in the greening of the grass and the blooming of the azalea and the hammering of the woodpecker, um, that, that hope is ultimately rooted in the hope to which it points, which is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we have that hope. And so when you see all those things happening, that is a harbinger. It's an icon. It's, a, it's not a metaphor, it, um, but it's an icon or a harbinger. It points to the resurrection of Christ. Now, St. Paul says this, this is in 1 Corinthians 15. This is his great uh, treatise on the resurrection. He said, For I handed on to you as of first importance what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, and that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve, then he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. So, friends, know that the hope we feel in April is, in fact, the hope that we feel in Jesus Christ and his resurrection. I'm going to pray a great prayer for you today. This is um, from the Saturday and, Holy, and Easter week. The Saturday and Easter week, the week after Easter. And here's the prayer. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have delivered us from the dominion of sin and death and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. And we pray that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his love he may raise us to eternal joys, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. And I pray that you will have just a, a foretaste of those eternal joys uh, in your day today. I'll see you tomorrow.